Welcome to another MicroMain training video. In this video, we are going to talk about adding requesters to your MicroMain program and submitting a request. To add requesters in a MicroMain, you can click on the security button located in the bottom left hand corner of your MicroMain home screen. Now, this takes you straight to the user page, but if we look on the left hand side here, there is another section called requesters. Select that. This brings you to your requester page. On this page, you can see their name, their username, uh, whether their registration is complete, and whether they're active. This page also has an import section. So if you want to put in multiple requesters at one time, you can use this template. Or you can put them in one at a time by selecting the Create New Requester button in the top right hand corner. That's the green circle with the white plus sign in the center. Now let's select one of the users and I'll go over the required information for a requester in the system. A requester needs a name. They also need a username email. It must be an email that they use for this particular login on the requester portal. Once this information is filled out and you select save, that requester will then get a registration email much like a user once they finish that email and setting up their password they now have access to the requester site. Now let's go through submitting requests. In order to do that I'm going to go back to our home screen by selecting the Micromain global icon in the upper left hand corner. Once that is selected, the fastest way to create a service request in the system is go down to our blue circle in the bottom left hand corner and select new request. This automatically opens up another tab in your browser and brings you to a separate login page. Once the requester is logged in, they see a home screen similar to users in their main Micromain program. In the requester portal, you have the ability to do three different things. Submit a new request, view the status of any requests you've sent in, and adjust your notification settings within the program. To submit a request in the system, they must click on this icon in the center of their home screen that says New Service Request. Once here, they are picking the same general information that you pick inside Micromain when completing a work order. The asset that works being performed on, the service that's being performed, and then any description that might be necessary as well for the technician performing the work. Once they have entered this information, they can hit Submit, and they're prompted. We select OK, and this brings us to their service request list screen. This allows them to see the status of any previously submitted services in the system. If we go back to their home page, that same screen can be accessed through the View Service Requests icon in the center of the screen. A user and requester may also modify their settings in the system. Notification settings such as request received, request accepted, request completed, and request rejected can all be toggled on or off along with the main settings to control your badge notifications. Remember these are in the top right hand corner of a user or requester screen and their actual email notifications as well. This concludes how to add a requester to your Micromain program and how to submit a request in Micromain.